Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Bitcoin, take a look at Bitcoin dominance. I want to give you guys my opinion on where we are at in the overall market because the sentiment is very, very bearish, and I want to give you my opinion on that. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for 17,000 subscribers, by the way. Let's hop into this. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is trading at $64,331, up about 1.3% basically chopping around here guys bitcoin dominance trading at 53.46 percent when you take away the stable coins we're basically trading at 55 and a half percent bitcoin dominance is bouncing around i want to take a quick look at that because in my opinion i think we're going to start to bounce a little bit higher here especially if bitcoin is making its way sideways for an extended period of time will we get the sell in may walk away i'm going to tell you what i see in the charts guys please go follow me on instagram at 333 black z when i reach 200 followers i'm going to give away 200 dollars if i can reach that in the next 48 hours so go follow me there i'm going to give you one of you guys 200 dollars with a crow coin bitcoin whatever you want really any any crypto but let's hop back into this so bitcoin dominance just came perfectly to this blue line and it's bouncing off of it. It's very, very slightly bouncing off of it right now. The real question is, are we going to bounce and make our way back to 57% from here? In my opinion, I only see that happening if, well, we see a big impulse move. If we see Bitcoin go up 10% in a short window of time or go down 10% in a short window of time. And I'll be honest with you guys, the sentiment right now in the crypto space People are very, very bearish. People are, it feels very bad. It feels like, it feels like we're at the bottom in the bear market. It, it's very interesting. That's what you get after you trade sideways. After trading basically only up for a year. And guys, we're trading sideways. It's not even a big move to the downside or anything like that. Which is what I want to talk about. The, the chances of that playing out. So yesterday, Bitcoin spot ETFs, bad day, minus $217 million came out of all the Bitcoin spot ETFs. And the day prior, minus $120 million. It was the first day yesterday that BlackRock did not buy any Bitcoin. It was like a 77-day streak that they were buying Bitcoin every single day and it was broken yesterday what does that mean in my opinion i think there's uh, starting to play a little bit of games to be honest with you because to be frank i know some people that have dollar cost averaging that buy blackrock bitcoin the spot etf the question is are they going to buy it later they have to at some point they have to buy it. The question is when. They need they need to they need to buy it at the end of every day. They need to be doing that. But we'll have to see. Maybe there was some sort of discrepancy. But that being said, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good to see the overall outflows higher than the inflows. Doesn't look good. But that doesn't mean that it's all over. Guys. On the 30th of April, four days away from now, Hong Kong, their Bitcoin spot ETF is going live. People in China will be able to invest, well, people in Hong Kong will be able to invest into Bitcoin. Very interesting stuff. It's good to see Asia start to, I don't know if regulate's the right word, but adopt it. Adopt Bitcoin in a much more clear way. To approve a Bitcoin spot ETF. In my opinion, selling before Asia has the ability to buy into the spot ETF is questionable. But let's take a look at the charts here a little bit. Because where is do where's dominance right now? Dominance is around, like I said, the 55.5% level. It's looking like it's going to bounce up here a little bit. But Bitcoin right now, you know, as I was saying, the sentiment's so bearish We've just been trading sideways for a little bit of time. We've been trade. We've been range bound. 
in between basically 60,000 and 70,000, maybe 67,000 in the past couple weeks. But we're range bound, guys. People are losing their minds. People are saying, oh, it's over. The top is in. And I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but it can get a lot worse. <laughs> I, I don't want to. I, I want to be transparent with you guys. It can get a lot worse than what we're looking at right now. And I keep talking about these different scenarios that could play out right now. And in my opinion, I'll keep going back to it. If we don't trade sideways and put a little bit of a corrective move into around, say, $60,000, which we've already done. We've already done that a few times. We're looking at the weekly right here. We've come down to this little yellow line at about $60,000. We've touched it. We've touched this a few times. But if we can trade sideways for an extended period of time here, we put a little bit of a corrective move in, range bound, maybe even come to 58000 the bull market is going to last longer. Bitcoin, the macro cycle top, is going to be higher. But if we bounce, say, in May, or even early June, uh, but I will say May. I'd rather say put May out there because I need to emphasize it needs to happen quickly. It needs to happen quickly. If we see a bounce right here and we start to make our way for previous highs, and we break above highs here, then in my opinion... I think that the bull market is going to be over sooner than people expect, and it's going to catch a lot of people off guard. I'm talking, and, and it won't reach nearly as high as it will hit if we put that corrective period in for a couple months. Something similar to the, the summer lull we had back in 2021. When we came up to 65000 and then we traded all the way down to about 28000 over the course of, well, what is this? Three months? The summer? Four months? We had that happen. When, when that happened, it set us up for a longer bull market. People thought it was over. People thought it was over, and they thought it was premature, which it was. We did get this little bounce back to 69000 It was a double top. But I do think that something like that is on the table if we trade sideways. But a re coming down below 60000 would be really surprising. Max pain. People will definitely think that it is over if we come below. If we get into the low 50s, people are going to think it's over. Maybe that's what we need. Maybe that's what we need to push Bitcoin to, say, 150000 or $200,000 this market cycle. And like I said, we could bounce right here. And if we do bounce here, then in my opinion, we probably come up to a little bit over 100000 115000 120000 in that area. But I think the bull market ends a lot sooner than people expect. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about that. Do you think we're going to trade sideways here and have a longer bull market ending in, say, 2025? Or do you think we're going to bounce here and start putting a new high in for a shorter-term bull market? Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, if you like this type of content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. Check out some awesome Referral links we have down below, a $4,100 sign-on bonus to Femex. All you got to do is click the link in the description box below, deposit, trade a little bit, get a bunch of free money. That's all I got for you guys. Like I said earlier, go follow me on Instagram at 333BlackC. When I reach 200 followers, if I can reach that in the next 48 hours, I'll give one of you guys $200 worth of crypto. Go follow me there. That's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.